well, back in Morgan's kitchen this month and we're gonna knock up a little bit of fried rice. Got both ridge monkeys here for the job. Um, it's a fairly simple and fairly quick process. So let's not hang about, let's crack on with it. First of all, I'm gonna crack the cooker on and as you can see, I've got a little bit of water in that pan. Not much is required. And I've got me part cooked rice here ready to go. Long grain for this occasion. Right, just going to get that nice and hot, shouldn't take too long. Okay, as you can see that's pretty much boiling there. This particular rice doesn't mention anything about being able to cook it in a pan on the back. However, in the past I've found that most of them are absolutely fine. So just a little bit of water in the pan. We'll chuck that in there. Give it a little mix up just to make sure that the uh, rice isn't all stuck together in lumps. Using my new little tools here. A little mix up make sure it's all nice and wet and I'll just close that down and we'll let that heat up for a couple of minutes see how it's getting on just going to turn that rice down a little bit just want that on a nice low heat doesn't take very long at all but whilst that's on the go pop the little one on here little drop of olive oil in there Heat that up. Just check this rice. It's all a bit hectic, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like it's coming on nicely. Just keep that on a low heat for now. And then the olive oil is getting nice and warm over here. And last night, chopped up some mushrooms. So I'll put a few of them in there. And some peppers, red and yellow. Get a few of them in there and also some spring onions lovely spilt a couple on the floor there but i'm sure you can excuse me for that <sighs> making a mess in the kitchen so i'll just let them fry for a minute rice see what this is tasting like yep rice is there so there's a little bit of water left in there so i'll just drain that out on the kitchen floor couldn't get away with that at home would you <laughs> and then I'll pop that back on there just to kind of dry that out a little bit I'll turn that pretty much off for now in fact I will turn it off because that's fine let's have a look how this is getting on I'll give it a little shake up it smells lovely Right, they've had a couple of minutes or so. And that looks absolutely fine for me. It smells amazing too. So I'm gonna crack this one back on. Pop a little bit of oil in the middle there. We had a little bit of sweet corn. Okay, then we're gonna crack that veg in there too. Now obviously if you wanted to put um, chicken in there, you can. I'm a vegetarian these days so no chicken for me. Uh, another great one actually which I totally forgot about is cashew nuts. Add a nice different texture to there, uh, to it and a nice flavour and obviously a little bit of saltiness as well which is always good. Whilst that's frying away, I'm just going to crack an egg straight into it. nice old mix probably get away with a couple of eggs in there but I'll make do with one here bit of uh, Sally salt and Percy pepper another thing which definitely adds to the flavour of this dish give that uh, probably 30 seconds give it a little shake around flip it over give it another little mix around that eggs all gonna be cooked and it'll be ready to rock what a mess I've made <laughs> Okay, I reckon that is absolutely perfect. And look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Vegetable fried rice, a la Le Morgan, on Le Bank. Bon appétit. 
probably best to let it cool for a minute or so first but other than that tastes amazing and pretty healthy too get on it